Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What are the penalties for not paying child support in Tennessee? If a parent in Tennessee fails to pay court-ordered child support, they may face several severe penalties. Here are the key consequences. Contempt of court. The non-custodial parent can be held in contempt of court, which may result in fines, payment of attorney's fees, and even jail time. The court will schedule a hearing to determine if the non-payment was willful and if the parent had the ability to pay at the time each payment was due. Jail time. A parent who willfully fails to pay child support can be sentenced to up to 10 days in jail for each missed payment. This measure is typically reserved for repeat offenders or those who have the means to pay but choose not to. Financial consequences. The back child support arrears will be reduced to judgment and a monthly payment plan will be set. Additionally, 12% simple interest can be added to the unpaid amount and a wage assignment may be ordered to deduct payments directly from the payer's paycheck. Child support payments can be enforced via wage garnishment. The state can order the payer's employer to deduct child support from their paycheck, similar to other withholdings like Social Security and income tax. Withholding other income. In addition to wages, child support can also be withheld from other income sources such as bonuses, pension benefits, and commission income. Federal payments can be intercepted through the Administrative Offset Program. License Revocation The state can revoke or suspend the non-custodial parent's driver's license, professional licenses, and even recreational licenses like hunting or fishing licenses until the back child support is paid. Tax refunds can be intercepted to pay off back child support. This applies to both state and federal tax refunds, and the amount withheld will be applied to the outstanding child support balance. Freezing bank accounts. Bank and investment accounts can be frozen until the back child support is paid. This includes accounts at financial institutions like banks, credit unions, and insurance companies. Credit reporting. The delinquency can be reported to credit agencies, which can negatively affect the payer's credit score. Modification of child support orders. If the payer's circumstances have changed significantly, e.g. job loss, medical emergency, they can request a modification of the child support order. However, existing arrears must still be paid. In severe cases, a parent who has a history of non-support or has fled the state to avoid payment may be charged with flagrant non-support, a Class E felony carrying one to six years in prison and a fine of up to $5,000. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.